Hey everyone, AR is emerging and the only way as of now to leverage it is by using our smartphones which gives birth to the development of mobile AR platforms which takes us straight to our today's video topic that is what is Google AR Core and what is Apple AR Kit which one is better watch this entire video to know everything Launched back in 2017 alongside iOS 11 Apple AR Kit as of 2021 is incorporated in millions of iPhones and used almost every day. Every year, with the launch of new iOS, we get to see new and updated versions in ARKit. As of now, the updated ARKit version is ARKit 5. Apple ARKit is a SDK or a framework which lets developers incorporate AR in their applications. Developers can use the technologies found in ARKit to make their own AR game or any AR based app. ARKit technologies enables an AR app to analyze the world around you using your iPhone's rear or back cameras and scanners or iPad's rear and back camera or scanners and place any virtual object in your physical world. Now let's take our attention towards Google AR Core. Google's first entry in AR was with the launch of Google Glasses in 2012 and another in 2017 with the launch of Google AR Core. As there is Apple AR Kit for iOS and iPadOS devices, in the same way there is Google AR Core for Android devices. Now let's see what exactly is Google AR Core. AR Core is an API that is Application Programming Interface or SDK that is Software Development Kit which makes developers enable AR experiences for Android devices. AR Core provides simple yet powerful tools to developers for creating AR experiences for their Android apps. One can use AR Core iOS API to build AR experience based apps for your iOS device. But Apple's ARKit cannot be used to build uh, AR experience based apps for Android which is like pretty obvious. Now comes the moment of truth. Which one is better? On one hand we have uh, Google AR Core and on the another we have Apple AR Kit. According to me and to be honest, you can't compare both because both provide the same technologies that developers need to create an AR experience or app or game. Technologies like motion tracking or light estimations and there are other as well. What matters is user experience. For example, I have experienced AR apps and games and filters and all on, on 20, 2018 smartphone iPhone XR and as well as on 2018 smartphone Note 9. Both are like quite old smartphones and are doing good. But while, while experiencing AR uh, games and applications, I found out that iPhone XR is much better than Note 9. This could be because of the hardware and software integration that Apple does and we all know about it. I have also experienced AR on one of the most powerful smartphones of 2020, uh, iPhone 12 and as well as on uh, S21 and while playing the same games and same AR filters and applications, one thing that I figured out is iPhone 12 is much better when it comes to AR gaming than Samsung Galaxy S21. So this takes us to the conclusion as of now Apple AR Kit is doing better than Google AR Core. We don't know what is going to be the future of mobile based AR development. Let's see how things work. But here, Apple AR Kit is clear winner. Thank you so much. Uh, no, let's have an air ending of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Follow on Instagram, follow on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the bell icon. See you in the next one.